warm welcome to Ending the Day with God for Advent on Tuesday the 29th of November. Our opening music was by Philip Stopford, Lule, Lule, Lula. The coming of Jesus changed our world forever. During the season of Advent, we best prepare for the arrival of Jesus, the coming one, by keeping our hearts and minds open and making room for him. Yet, we allow things to get in the way. Today on Bethlehem's Road, our theme is grumbling. In the beginning, when it was all very quiet, the Word was with God. And what God was, the Word was. In the beginning, when it was very dark, God said, Let there be light. And there was light. When the time was right, God sent his Son. He came among us. He was one of us. You keep us waiting, Lord. You, the God of all time, want us to wait for the right time in which to discover who we are, where we must go, who will be with us and what we must do. Thank you for the waiting time. You keep us looking. You, the God of all space, want us to be looking in the right and wrong places for signs of hope, for people who are hopeless, for visions of a better world, which will appear amongst the disappointment of the world we know. Thank you for the looking time. You keep us loving. You, the God whose name is love, want us to be like you, to love the loveless and the unloved and the unlovely, to love without jealousy or design or threat, and most difficult of all, to love ourselves. So thank you, Lord, for the loving time. We turn now to our reflection. Grumbling or miserableness is not a condition we can't help. It is a choice we make. The famous anonymous saying illustrates this truth. Two prisoners behind bars, one saw mud, the other stars. We can miss the stars or whatever they may tell us about what is coming if we look down on people or are like bad work persons who blame their tools. If we are tight-lipped and tight-fisted, we dismiss Christ when he comes in the guise of the stranger at the door. Grumbling is a choice. It tends to look for the worst side of any situation or person in order to complain. If it is indulged in often, it can become a default position, a way of life. A sullen mood leads to a sullen face that creates a sullen atmosphere. Joy cannot dance in such an atmosphere, nor can the king appear. We grumble about the neighbours, old people, young people, other people in general. We grumble about food, works, aches and pains, the government, the council, you name it. Miserableness, variously known as dissatisfaction, complaining, self-pity or having a victim complex was one of the eight deadly traits that the 4th century Desert Christian Fathers identified. They spent their lives practicing exercises that would overcome these obstacles to the coming of God among them. In Psalm 144, verse 14, praise that there may be no complaining in our streets. Absence of complaining makes room for something positive to be experienced. The trouble with a culture of grumbling is that we don't pay attention to something wonderful. We don't notice potential. We miss the moment. 
Things pile up. Plenty of noises off. Grudges cloud the eyes. The treadmill grinds on. Unless I jump off it into adverts. Or there is the sacrament of the present moment. The letter of Paul to the Philippians, chapter 2, verses 14 and 15. <coughs> Do all things without murmuring and arguing, so that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish, in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, in which you shine like stars in the world. Thanks be to God. Breathe deeply, rhythmically. Let complaints drain away. Become aware of the joy in the present moment. Instead of grumbling, let there be gratitude. Instead of complaining, let there be celebration. So may there arise a sweet-smelling aroma that heralds a banquet for a long-awaited guest. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Christ our light, Christ our might, guard us sleeping, and let us be in your keeping this night and evermore. Prince of the universe, master of all mysteries, protect us in the dark hours until the morning light. Amen. Almighty God, be with us as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. May he dispel the darkness of the world and give light to all peoples. Protect us as the darkness descends and keep us ever in your light. Through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. Amen.